Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com, where we dive deep into the world of renewable energy. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind renewable energy certificates, commonly known as RECs. Let's embark on a journey to understand these powerful tools in the renewable energy sector. Imagine a world where every kilowatt of energy you use could be traced back to its source. That's a challenging task, especially when it comes to renewable energy. This is where RECs come into play. A renewable energy certificate is a market-based instrument representing the property rights to the environmental, social, and non-power attributes of renewable electricity generation. Essentially, RECs are the currency of renewable energy markets. Now, you might wonder, what exactly do RECs represent? Each REC embodies the environmental benefits associated with the generation of 1 megawatt hour MWH, of renewable electricity. Whether it's from the sun's radiant energy, the force of wind, the power of water, the heat from the earth's core, or the energy in plant and waste material, RECs capture the essence of these renewable sources. Let's break it down a bit. 1 MWH, what does that mean? It's a unit of energy equivalent to a sustained power of 1 megawatt for 1 hour. Think of it as a vast amount of energy, enough to power hundreds of homes for a short period. And for every MWH of renewable energy produced and fed into the grid, a corresponding REC is generated. But how do RECs find their way into the market? It's quite fascinating. RECs can be traded, bought, or sold, providing flexibility in how we support renewable energy. For instance, if you're a company looking to go green but can't install solar panels, you can purchase RECs to offset your energy usage, contributing to renewable energy production indirectly. In essence, RECs play a pivotal role in tracking renewable energy and ensuring its benefits are accounted for. They serve as a key to a more sustainable future, bridging the gap between renewable energy production and consumption. REC markets, compliance and voluntary. In the dynamic world of renewable energy, renewable energy certificates, or RECs, play a crucial role. But did you know there are two distinct markets for RECs? Let's delve into the realms of compliance and voluntary REC markets and discover their unique characteristics. First up, compliance markets. These are created by state-level policies known as Renewable Portfolio Standards, or RPS. Picture this, a state mandates that a certain percentage of all electricity sold must come from renewable sources by a specific year. For example, California set a goal of 33% renewable energy by 2020. How do electric companies meet these ambitious targets? That's where RECs come in. Utilities purchase RECs to prove they're meeting the state's renewable energy quotas. Essentially, RECs are their golden tickets to compliance. Now, let's switch gears to voluntary markets. These are driven by choice, not regulation. In voluntary markets, customers, from large corporations to eco-conscious homeowners, opt to buy RECs. Why? They're motivated by a desire to support renewable energy beyond what's mandated by law. It's a powerful statement about their commitment to a greener planet. But who are these voluntary buyers? Take Whole Foods or Starbucks, for example. These companies purchase RECs to reduce their carbon footprint and meet their own sustainability goals. It's about taking a proactive stance in the renewable energy movement. Across the United States, states with RPS are numerous and diverse. Maryland aims for 50% renewable by 2030, while Maine targets an ambitious 100% by 2050. These varying goals reflect a patchwork of commitments to renewable energy, each playing a vital role in the larger picture of environmental sustainability. In summary, the compliance and voluntary REC markets are two sides of the same coin. Both are integral to advancing renewable energy adoption, each with its own approach and impact. Trading and Value of RECs First, let's talk about how RECs are traded. Picture a vibrant marketplace, not so different from the stock market, where renewable energy certificates are the commodities in play. These certificates can be bought and sold, or even traded, much like stocks. But who facilitates these transactions? This is where third-party brokers and asset managers step in. They act as the intermediaries, ensuring that the trade of RECs runs smoothly. 
these entities might purchase RECs directly from renewable energy facilities and then resell them, playing a crucial role in maintaining the liquidity and health of the REC market. Now, onto the factors that influence the value of RECs. Think of it like a recipe, where several ingredients determine the final flavor. The vintage year or the year of generation, the geographical location of the renewable energy source, and the type of renewable energy, like solar, wind, or biomass, all contribute to a REC's value. It's a complex mix, where supply and demand dynamics, along with state-specific renewable energy policies, play significant roles. Enter Solar Renewable Energy Certificates, or SRECs. These are a unique type of REC generated specifically by solar power. Given the increasing focus on solar energy, SRECs often carry a premium value, especially in states that have set specific solar energy targets within their renewable portfolio standards. But why is REC trading so important? Every trade, every transaction in the REC market, sends a clear demand signal. It's a thumbs up for renewable energy, encouraging investment in new renewable projects. When a company buys RECs, it's indirectly funding the development of more renewable energy facilities. It's a cycle of support, where buying RECs translates into more wind turbines spinning or more solar panels soaking up the sun. Criticisms and challenges of RECs A primary criticism of REC centers around the issue of double counting environmental benefits. Double counting occurs when the environmental attributes of renewable energy, represented by RECs, are claimed by more than one party. For example, a renewable energy producer might sell the REC associated with their energy, transferring the claim of renewable energy to the buyer. However, if both the producer and the buyer report this as renewable energy usage, it leads to an inflated perception of environmental benefits, misleading the public about actual renewable energy contribution. Another challenge is the potential misuse of RECs to claim dual credit for clean energy generation. This issue arises when entities purchase RECs to offset their non-renewable energy consumption, potentially using it as a greenwashing tool. By buying RECs, a company could claim to be green without reducing its actual carbon footprint, thereby undermining the intended environmental impact of renewable energy. Regarding the effectiveness of voluntarily purchased RECs, research suggests that they may not significantly spur additional renewable energy investment or generation. This is particularly true for RECs purchased outside of compliance with renewable portfolio standards. The voluntary market, while well-intentioned, might not always translate into concrete action towards increasing renewable energy capacity. In conclusion, while RECs are a valuable tool in promoting renewable energy, they are not without their challenges. It's crucial to address these issues to enhance the integrity and effectiveness of RECs in the renewable energy market. By understanding both the potential and limitations of RECs, we can work towards a more transparent and impactful renewable energy future. Conclusion and Future Outlook As we wrap up our series on renewable energy certificates at reneeenergy.com, let's reflect on the significant role RECs play in the grand scheme of renewable energy adoption and look towards the future. RECs have emerged as a cornerstone in the journey towards a more sustainable world. They provide a tangible way to support renewable energy, even when direct investment in renewable infrastructure isn't feasible. By allowing for the trade of environmental attributes associated with renewable energy generation, RECs have become instrumental in meeting renewable energy goals and mandates set by governments and organizations. However, the journey doesn't end here. The current REC system, while effective in many ways, faces challenges that need addressing. These include issues like double counting and the potential for greenwashing. The future lies in continual improvements and reforms to make the REC system more robust, transparent, and impactful. This could involve stricter regulations to prevent double counting, enhanced verification processes, and more transparent reporting standards to ensure that RECs genuinely contribute to the addition of renewable energy in the grid. Looking forward, the potential for RECs in the renewable energy market is vast. As the world increasingly turns towards sustainable energy solutions, the demand for RECs is likely to grow. This growth presents an opportunity to refine the REC system further, ensuring that it effectively drives the expansion of renewable energy sources. As we conclude, remember that the story of renewable energy is still being written, and RECs are a crucial chapter in that story. We invite you, our viewers, to stay informed and engaged in renewable energy discussions. Your awareness and actions can make a significant difference in shaping a sustainable future. Together, let's embrace the potential of renewable energy and the role RECs play in it. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. 
Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends and renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.